Welcome to Flying End Paper Episode 4. I've been really busy. I did repair my bedtime book of magic carpet stories from many lands, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I put Kozo paper here that I colored with um, colored pencils. And I think the coloring, it, it came out pretty good. It's not an invisible repair, but that's okay. And it's not as shiny as the paper on the cover, which if I wanted to make it a little bit more invisible, I might take maybe a little wax and try to shine it up, but I think it's fine. And I didn't get the back coloring as nicely matched, but it's fine. It really does hold that top of the spine down when you open it. I think it looks really good. It works. I'm very happy with it. I haven't done any other book repair. I have been really, really excited about knitting. So I like to, I like to go with what I'm excited about doing with crafting and making things. So I've gone with the knitting. I knit a small doll sweater and it's very small and it's my first project at such a tiny scale. And it's for my, um, my 12 inch fashion doll. I, I won't say the brand name. But I am thrilled with how this sweater came out. This is the one sixth scale David Jumper by Frances Powell of Buttercup, Buttercup Miniatures. It's a beautifully detailed pullover with these this lovely cabling front and back. And the pattern is fantastic. This was recommended to me as a very good pattern for someone who hasn't knit before in the scale, and it is. I had, I had one question where I couldn't quite visualize how it was working, and I simply asked on Ravelry, and Frances is amazing. She has a Ravelry group all for her patterns and the people who make them. Everyone is super helpful, super supportive. So if you're interested in doing any knitting at this scale for dolls, I can't recommend it enough. This pattern is a paid pattern, but it's only £2.75, so it's very affordable. And it is, I, it is a pattern that's called the David sweater, but I like the way it fits her. So... I'm saying it's a pretty unisex gender inclusive sweater and I knit it uh, with Sibelia size 20 crochet cotton with 1.75 millimeter needles and it came out as a great great <clears throat> texture I love the drape I used a uh, tapestry needle for my cable needle worked wonderfully and I'm thinking of trying it again for my Blaine doll. Oh, there's a brand name. Well, anyway, I have a doll named Blaine, who's also a uh, 12 inch fashion doll. And he's very broad shouldered. And this sweater was really tight on him. And, uh, you know, it accentuated his muscles. But I like the way it looks on her better. So I'm thinking of using a larger needle, or uh, a member in the group suggested using some fingering weight yarn and and that maybe in wool would also give it more give so i like this so much i want to make another one and i cast on a cardigan for me oh i should also mention today i'm wearing the diana cardigan this is a free pattern i will put links below to all of these patterns and I'll put a link below to the designer and everything of this. I didn't write it down to read it, which my bad. I'll try to be better about that. 
This is I've cast on the Ariadne cardigan by Elisabetta Saron. She spells her last name C E R O N. And I'm knitting this on 3.75 millimeters with Jaeger Matchmaker Merino Aaron. And it's black, so I need good light for this. But I love the, the fabric I'm getting with it. The gauge is about 19 stitches to the inch. And this yarn is really squishy and soft. So this, I think, is going to be a really warm cardigan. It's a free pattern. There's only one size available. 36.75 inches or 92 centimeters at the bust. And it's a very plain cardigan. And I'm thinking of somehow decorating it. I haven't decided how yet. Still thinking about that. And then I'm swatching for a beanie for my husband with this absolutely beautiful yarn. This is the Marisol Winku Alka. And it's sort of uneven. But I love it. It's it's spun with all of these, the brown and the white and everything going through it. And it's a blend of cotton and silk. And I think it's going to be an okay beanie. I've made some 100% cotton beanies. And it does have some nice give in the stockinette. And I do the beanies for my husband with ribbing right around. So they do tend to to fit right on the top of his head. So that's what's up. I'm having a lot of fun with all of that. I hope you all are well. Keep crafting. Thanks for watching.